Thank you to Poshmark for sponsoring today's video. I am here at the Goodwill Outlet in New Hampshire. And what I've been doing recently for my thrift with me's at the bins is I try to go in and just do some shopping for a while before I take out my camera. Um, I find it just gives me a chance to kind of get in the zone and um, find my rhythm. I've been here for a little while now, so you're gonna see some of the items that I'm picking up and leaving behind. Uh, I ended up grabbing this sweatshirt. It's a Pusheen is the brand on it. I think this is just a little chubby cat dressed like a mermaid, which I thought was cute. This jacket is very nice. It's Nine West, but in a recent video, I had run some comps on a leopard Nine West coat and the comps were very low. I thought this was really beautiful. I love the style of it, but I did end up leaving it behind. It is not often that I leave behind an American Girl item, or doll for that matter, but this poor thing, look at that face, yeah. She needs to go to the doll hospital. I don't think there's anything I can do for her. Ink is a really hard thing to get out of the dolls. Um, I've, I've worked there for years and pen marks were really tough to get rid of, um, but a magic eraser sometimes does the trick with surface stuff on the doll's vinyl. Um, I thought this was a cute backpack, but it had some staining on the back and somebody's name that I hadn't noticed earlier, so that got tossed back. These are some of the things in my cart that I've collected. I'm doing some sorting here and I have this basket on the ground and looking through things and deciding whether or not to toss them into my cart and I am a sucker for really beautiful bedspreads and this just makes me think of my grandmother. This tiny little stain, but other than that, it's in really great condition. The brand meant nothing to me, but my mom recognized the brand. It's Bates, made in the USA, it's vintage, and some of these comps are really impressive. The velvety chenille style seemed to go for the most, but I'm really hoping I can get between $50 and $70 for this. I'm doing some more sorting here. This Michael Kors wallet I grabbed without looking at it and it's pretty trashed, so that gets tossed back in the bin. I think this bucket hat is really cute, probably 90s Y2K and definitely looked like a vintage tag. I mean, obviously I need to take this home and try it on Lulu Marie for the next rainstorm. This is really soft leather and I'm just trying to see if I can bring it back to life a little bit. It does have some marks on it, which I think I can get out. Um, and I think that my Doc Martens balm, if I rubbed that into this leather, I think would really restore it and make it beautiful again. I really love the pattern of this billabong bag, um, but when I started looking closely at it, it was pretty marked up. It had some wear on the piping on the outside as well as the interior was pretty dirty. So unfortunately that went back. Found some new with tag stuff. This is French Connection. This is a beautiful sweater. Not like a hot brand that necessarily sells great, but you know, it's hard to say no to new with tags. Same goes for this little swimsuit here. I'm in love with this little vintage hat here. I think it's so cute and it's very light. That's coming home with me. I tend to see these boots a lot. If anybody knows, uh, are these military boots? I'm always curious about those. Uh, this is an ugly sweater that I think is actually kind of cute for Christmas, but I did leave it behind because, you know, try not to take home too much stuff. This was a cardigan sweater I'm holding up and not showing very well. It's Universal Thread, which is a brand I do like to pick up at the bins. It's just Target, uh, but this was really heavy and a little out of season and I was hungry and it was funny that that kind bar was tempting me a little bit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. These are Jeffrey Campbell boots. Uh, the line is Ibiza and I loved these boots, but you can see they're torn in different areas. I was very sad about that. So here I am walking them back to the bin and sadly tossing them in. I found these Corky's boots and I do like picking up this brand or maybe this is just the Corks line, but I could only find one. I really like the shape of those boots. They weren't in the best shape. These are like Lucky Brand clogs, suede boots. I keep my singles underneath so I don't accidentally take them home. That's a new strategy I've been using at the bins. I 
I do like the brand Sundance and these are just cute little lounge pants with some little ruffle detailing. Um, I think somebody will like those. Those are already have like seven or eight likes. I have them priced at $20, but they haven't sold yet. At this point, I'm still going through my cart and I'm oblivious that they are not bringing any more tables. I'm patiently waiting as the place clears out and this is what it looks like and they're totally done. So I guess it's time to go home. Hi everybody, we are back. I am in my basement and I am surrounded by this massive haul of items that I got from the Goodwill outlet uh, in this past week. I spent $124, I got 62 pounds of stuff and I'm gonna jump right in because it's a lot. So I'm gonna try to go fast. I have not run comps on everything yet, but all of this will be in my Poshmark closet by the time you see this video. And if by chance I miss anything, just DM me and I'll be sure I get it listed as soon as I can. I'm guessing I have at least 50 items here. Some of these items will go into my mystery boxes, which are boxes that I sell for $35, five to seven items. I try to include at least one new with tag item in there. I'll differentiate what's going into my mystery boxes as I go through. So let's jump in. I have a bunch of items that are on hangers because I have already listed them and photograph them. So I'm going to start with these items. This Patagonia I'm really excited about. I had no idea where this came from. I've never seen it before. It's like a textured fleece. It almost looks like little scales. I'm hoping you can see the detail here. It was in a bin that I don't think was a new bin or anything, but you don't really see Patagonia unless you really get up close. And then you can see the detail right here. So I'm hoping that you can see it. It's almost like a raised embossed sort of a look. It's in really great condition. My understanding of this is that this is a rare fleece. I saw a couple listings where this was listed in the 70s and high 80s, $89. Somebody on Instagram was kind enough to do some research on this for me because I posted it and said, does anybody know what this design is? And I think it's called the R15. If, if that's wrong, I'll write it on the bottom of the screen what this actually is. I'm only seeing it through other listings. It's definitely like this little R series because it does have the R here on the sleeve. It's tagless, so it's like stamped on the Patagonia right here. So it looks like it's a size medium. I'm probably going to list this for about $75, $80, only because I don't know. Like I'm having a hard time finding comps on this, but somebody gave me a link to an eBay listing. I thought it was so kind of her to do that. I really like how the bottom kind of scoops down. I think this is a men's. If this sells for even $60, that is almost half of this haul. And we're just getting started here. Um, I picked up this Le Tigre, Le Tigre, the tiger. Do you remember this logo? It kind of reminds me of like the alligator, like the Lacoste. This had like the paper in it. This was new without tag. It had the, the cardboard in the collar. And then there was a quarter zip right next to it. That both looked like brand new. And the comps really weren't bad. I've never sold this brand before, but I thought it was like a nice men's shirt. And since it was new without tag, I'm always looking for men's stuff. It's a double XL. And yeah, like I said, it's it's new without tag, so it's in great condition. In the thumbnail, I wrote that I found so many outdoor brands because I really and truly did. So Patagonia is one of them. The North Face is another. There was a gentleman there who was shopping for himself and he grabbed this first and I looked at him, I'm like, that's a great find. And he's like, I think it's too big for me. And I said, because oh, it's a large. And I said, oh, and he's like, would you like it? I'm not gonna take it. So I said, absolutely. And it's a nice, um, like, I would say like, this is like a three season. It's almost like a windbreaker on the outside, but it's fleece lined, I believe. So it's really nice. I don't have the style number on this. It almost reminds me of like the Omni jackets from Columbia. It has this cool texture on the inside. I'm not sure what this is, but it's in great condition. Men's large. I don't know. Off the cuff, I'm thinking between $30 and $50 for this. I really don't know. This was a brand I didn't recognize. Oh gosh. I listed this. I don't know if this was a brand sold at REI. I can't remember. I actually think this was even on Amazon, these pants. I just thought they were really interesting. This is the back of them. They're actually in olive green and they have like the little zip here. Just nice hiking pants, 32 by 32, 
polyester fleece fiber liner. They're really, really nice. Once I see the brand, I'll put it on the screen for you. Forgive me that I don't have like tons of details on this one. It was just so big. Another outdoor brand. I guess we're going with all the outdoor stuff to, to get started. This is Mountain Hardware and I've never once picked this up. I have heard so many people talk about it and I've just never seen a piece that I was like, oh, I like that, but this was pretty good. So it's Mountain Hardware. Let me know if you sell this brand and how you do with it. This is just a basic fleece. When I did see the comps on this, this looks like $25 to $35 sold comps. And this looks like it's a men's medium. I think that just the items alone that I've shown so far will pay for this haul, which is pretty exciting. Speaking of outdoor brands, I had a pair of the Rider pants by Cool, K-U-H-L. Love finding Cool. It was another thing that was in a bin that people were passing over. Those sold. They sold within hours. I listed them for $49 and I got a $36 offer, so I took it. Those pants were the first item to sell from this haul. I don't think that anything else yet has sold. I want to pop in to take a moment to thank today's sponsor. Thank you Poshmark for partnering with me in this portion of today's video. Poshmark is one of the easiest ways to sell items items and clean out your closet. I downloaded the Poshmark app in 2016 because I was looking to purchase something that was on Poshmark, but it wasn't until 2018 that I myself started to sell items on the platform. And since August of 2018, I have sold over 4,000 items on Poshmark. To me, it is the easiest platform out there. You can find amazing deals and shop from thousands of brands. Just recently, I picked up a pair of Birkenstocks, you know, the rubbery kind. They were new and box and the person I bought them off of had them listed for just $25. They're going to be my perfect running errand shoes, walking the dog shoes. It's always important to just have that pair of shoes that just slips on with ease and out you go. So I'm always grateful for the deals that I can get on Poshmark and obviously I am a committed seller to the platform. They also have a lot of luxury brands at affordable pricing and they have complimentary authentication on any item that you purchase for over $500. If you've ever purchased something from me on Poshmark, I would love to see it on Instagram and I would share it with my community. It's one of my favorite things is to sell something, give it a new home, and then see where it ends up and how people style the things that I'm selling them. So definitely tag me in your next Instagram story. If you're not on the app yet, you can download Poshmark in the United States, Canada, Australia, and India using the link in my description. It can be a side hustle for you. It can be a way for you to clear out your closet and make a little extra money. It helps the environment. There are so many benefits to using Poshmark, but for me, it's turned into so much more. Poshmark is the stream of income that makes me the most money in my career, and I don't see it stopping anytime soon. Be sure to click the link in my description and get started with Poshmark today. I liked these. These were kind of Y2K, kind of boho, when I first started selling on Poshmark, I loved selling Lucky Brand. Um, I had sold a few of the, I can't remember the actual style of them, but they were heavily embroidered, low rise. They may have been the Sweet and Low or the Maggie. I think they were Lil Maggie. That was the name of them. Boot cut heavily embroidered and they sold for really good money. And I was like hooked on the brand for a while. These remind me of that time when Lucky Brand did very well. I thought these were really cute. They almost have like a little Y2K vibe now. They are probably a mid-rise and they are also cropped, but I thought these were really cute, hoping to get between like 20, 28 and 30, 35 dollars for these. They are size two also. Lulu Marie is back. I have to go close the door. She just let herself in. I have a good variety of stuff here, so I have a lot of accessories to share with you in a little bit. These are just Sundance but I really loved these fleece bottoms. What I liked is that they have this little ruffle on the hem of the bottom, and I just like the brand Sundance, and especially from the bins. This is probably nothing I would have picked up like at Savers for five or six dollars, but I don't even know if these are a pound. So for under two dollars, I'm hoping to get about, you know, 20, 18 to 20 for these, and they're really comfy. They are a size medium, and they are fleece in this nice little floral pattern. They're super cute. 
I picked this up because it was plus size and I liked the style of it. I thought it was like a flattering cut. I'm always looking for plus size items that are lightweight. I just think it's a really cute top. It's by Roz and Alley, so this is not any fancy brand. So I'm probably expecting between like $18 and $25 for this. I'll probably list it for $28, but I think it's a really pretty top and it's a size 1X. Um, this got some attention right away, just like a like as soon as I listed it. And I think this has potential to be such a pretty piece. This is J. Jill. And I almost didn't grab it. And then I'm like, what am I doing? Like, it kind of has like a boho vibe. I can picture it with a cardigan sweater over it and some brown sandals. Oh my gosh, does it have pockets too? It has pockets. We love pockets. I think it's really cute. This would be so nice and easy in the summer with some sandals and a nice hat. And it's jersey material. It just feels like a comfy jersey. I think I have this listed for $38 and it's a size large. So I'm hoping to get around, you know, $30, $32 for this. This piece I thought was really cool. It is a vintage blazer and it's in this satin off-white. I just think it's so cool. It's got shoulder pads, very 80s. Um, the brand is called Joanna. I just feel like this could be like dinner out with a pair of jeans and some strappy little sandals and just looks so cute. I love the length of the sleeve. I know it doesn't really look so great under over my hoodie, but it doesn't look bad actually. I just feel like this is really cute. I don't know where to price it. It's in excellent condition. It does have that little a kind of vintagey smell. I steamed it, but um, I'm afraid to wash it, but it's a good size. I mean, I would say if it's kind of coming around the front on me, it's like a large, extra large, or like a 12, 14, uh, but it is adorable and it's unique. I love when I find vintage stuff that I feel like would work so well in 2022. I mean, that's, that's the beauty sometimes of vintage that I find. I love mixing things. I love mixing modern with vintage, high end and low end. I just think it's all about your personal expression. I don't know. I'm really like Liking this. I don't know. I'm feeling a little John Travolta vibes as well. But anyways, yes, love this. Don't know where I'm pricing this. Let me know where you would price this. Um, but it's really a nice piece. And it's so easy. Kind of like the shoulder pads in there too. So here's the tag if anybody's interested. Joanna. And it is made in the USA. I would say it's a pretty generous cut for a medium, but I love it. I love it. Okay. And while we're talking about vintage. I wasn't sure about this pickup. This is an Oscar de la Renta men's blazer. I only picked this up because it was camel and I feel like the oversized blazers are really in right now. I just think somebody could rock this. The other thing I liked about it is the sleeves weren't crazy long. Um, I'm not sure what the size is. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. It doesn't really matter because if you're a woman wearing it, I think you're going for oversized. I definitely think it's more on the larger size. But Oscar de la Renta, I'm thinking between $35 and $45 for this. I think I have it listed for $49 or $50, something like that. But it's in excellent shape. I couldn't find a fabric tag on it, so I'm not sure. It feels like it's probably a wool blend, but it's not like a heavy wool blend. It's really nice. I love camel colored blazers. I just think they are timeless and classic. And yeah, I think they're a staple piece for any wardrobe. More outdoor stuff. And I'm really excited about this piece. I grabbed this and I knew it was quality. I've never heard of it. The brand is called Topo Designs. And there is the label. Let me know if you're familiar with this brand, but it is this blend of like wool and fleece and it has some detail here like quilting detail. I just, I loved the structure of this and this retails for $199. I have it listed for 79 or 80. The sold comps that I have seen are between like 75 and $100, but a lot of them were new with tag. So I'm hoping to get like 50 or $60 for this. And it's a brand I've never heard of. Topo Designs is really nice and it's in beautiful condition. It's fleece lined on the inside. It's a really great piece. A lot of outdoor stuff. I'm looking at another one over here I'm gonna grab. I think these are the last two like outdoorsy types of pieces that I got. And I did find a lot for men. This is the Thermafit by Nike. It's like a nice charcoal gray, quarter zip, 
I get so much attention on Nike stuff, but it's not something that I gravitate towards. It's a double XL as well. This may have been in the same bin with the Le Tiger shirt. Anyway, this is just your basic, you know, this is probably $35 I'm hoping for. But $35 when you're only paying two or $3 is great. Now I find this brand at these bins in New Hampshire all the time. So this is a Burton coat and I love this coat. Um, it is the white collection. At first I'm like, is that Sean White, the snowboarder? But this doesn't really look like him. I don't know. This is like the little label on the back. Um, and this is a, a striped liner. This is the label in the front. I love, love picking up Burton. We're out of season for Burton, but this isn't like a crazy heavyweight jacket. And it's a size large. Uh, it's really a nice coat really in great shape i'm hoping for like between 60 and 80 dollars for this it has this little hexagon little thing right here very cool i love selling burton and this is a real classic style that i think anybody would love all right i gotta organize myself over here Okay, I grabbed just this little Talbot's vest, which is kind of wool, which is not something I would typically wear, but I wanted to throw it on to get a different look with this jacket. So I think I'm gonna wear my little satin jacket for the rest of the haul to just have some fun. This is a bucket hat that I got. I love this. I thought this was super cute. Um, my girlfriend, Laura Von V, is a big fan of bucket hats. Laura is who I think of when I grab a bucket hat. I thought this was so adorable. Um, it also looks like you can snap it up on the sides, which is interesting. And this is definitely vintage. I can show you the tag here. Well, it says made in China, so maybe not, but it looks old. It looks like maybe early 2000s. Laura does styling videos, and she mixes a lot of vintage style in and her aesthetic is beautiful and I get so many ideas from her. So Laura is the reason I picked up this bucket hat. This was also there, another outdoor brand. This is Prana, um, which is also cute. I keep getting these like these types of hats and then I sell them. This one's really cute. This one's lined with like a, fur, a faux fur, um, but it's adorable as well. I did end up finding some really nice hats in this haul. Um, so this is another one. I'll show you the inside. So it's made by Prana. There's a tiny little stain over here that I literally think I can get out with a baby wipe. There's a little Prana logo right there. It's corduroy. It's closed in the back and look at all the nice fur lining. Very comfortable on. It says size 59 centimeters. So I don't know, fit me, fits me perfect. I would say I have like a small to medium size head. Okay, next up, there are no tags in this and there's a little bit of water damage on the inside, but this just gives me such like Holly Hobby, 70s, groovy, Barbie <laughs> vibes. Brady Bunch, that's what it makes me think of. I feel like Marsha Brady would have rocked this hat. It's tight on me, which leads me to believe that it's probably a children's hat, but it is so 70s. Yeah, like I can, I can get it on. It doesn't go with what I'm wearing, but it's really cute. Somebody is going to love this hat. I'm certain of it. But look at all the 70s groovy detail. There was no way I was leaving this hat behind. Plus, it's so lightweight. I mean, this probably cost 25 cents. There's butterflies. There's flowers. I wish there was something on here. But I mean, I can look at it and tell you that it's probably late 60s or early 70s. What do you guys think? I think this is the last hat that I got. Um, this is the Lawman. I've never, I'm not familiar with this brand. The Lawman. Um, I just liked the structure of this hat. See how it's really dark in certain areas? You know what? I bet it is. I bet it was this leather that stained the ribbon underneath. I bet that's what happened. Lawman. Genuine Milan. Any ideas? It's a seven and a quarter. Milan. I mean, so it's made in Italy. Anyway, I think it's really cute. I'm not sure what any of the hats are going to sell for, but I just love picking up hats at the bins. So I met two friends at the bins, Shelly, and I believe it was Cecilia or Celia. Thank you so much for saying hello. Um, at one point, I believe it was Shelly who came over to me and said, I know you always collect new with tag items for your mystery boxes, and I'm going to pass on these items. Are you interested in them? And she handed them to me. So thank you so much. I ended up taking them. So these are some of the items that she gave me. I think this I might list on its own although this could go into a box. It's an L.L. Bean signature sweater. I think it's really pretty. 
feels like it's all cotton and the price on it is $84, $84. I mean, I could probably get 28 to 30 for that if I sold it on its own. Sometimes with the bins, it just comes down to how far behind am I? The whole idea with me with mystery boxes is I just can't let my death pile get big again. And sometimes it's just hard to leave these beautiful pieces behind when they're new with tag and $2. So I'll take them home with me. And if I don't list them and I'm noticing like I've been thrifting two, three times since the bins and I'm starting to get a little backlog. These are the first things that I would like pull and put in mystery boxes. I hope that makes sense. This is another one, French Connection. This has an $88 price tag on it. This is new with tag. It's a very nice sweater. It's just that really classic cobalt blue with a crew neck. This is a beautiful sweater. But you know, this is something that I don't know if people are really seeking out. Um, a French connection sweater. This is gorgeous. The feel of this is so nice. So that was new with tag. I think I found that. These two pieces also came from Shelly. This is Old Navy and it's a dress that's new with tag. It looks like it was ordered online. This is a great little spring dress. I think this is adorable. It's a size medium. Super cute. I love the colors in this and it has a v-neck. Also this sweater from Morona is a perfect mystery box item. Very cute. It has these little gem embellishments. It's a size extra large, new with tag. That's a perfect mystery box piece. Super pretty. I found I found these, which are also new with tag. I would probably put these in a mystery box now because it's summer, but we're going into summer. But if we were going into the holidays, I would list these. So these are just the pixie pants in a size 18. So it's great that they're plus size and they retail for $39.99 and they're really adorable. Also, these would fit into like the academia style as well. And they're navy blue. It's not like they're green. So, I mean, these aren't exclusive to holiday, but this type of a plaid makes me think of the holiday season. I actually got a fair amount of new with tag stuff. I think Shelly gave me this one as well, I think. This is JM Collection. It says that the original price was 46 on clearance for 34. Looks like maybe a Macy's tag. And it has these little, this gem around the collar. This is a really nice top elbow length sleeves. This is a size large. This I decided to sell because I saw a beautiful stock photo on it and the brand is Rico Bruno. I saw a sold comp for this dress for $45 and it's just such a nice little dress. It has like a very like it's definitely like polyester or rayon and very lightweight. Seems like a cool dress like good for hot weather. It does have pockets just so cute and it's kind of like a fit and flare so very flattering it's size medium so i'm going to list this for that 45 dollar mark that i saw this old comp on and hopefully that does well just a couple more new with tag items i might give this to my mom this seems like a top my mom would like in a size large by karen scott and it's just like a soft light blue this would be a really pretty top for easter it has a little zip in the back but again, new with tag, all these items new with tag. I can't find the bottoms for these, but these were also new with tag. This is Time and True, which is Walmart, but just as separates, they have this priced at $21, which I was surprised to see a price tag like that on a Walmart item, but really cute. This is a bikini set. I, I'll, I'll find the bottoms They're They're around here somewhere, but this is the top and it goes like this and actually ties right here in the front. I love the color of this bathing suit. I'm not doing a very good job, but isn't that adorable? And it is a size four, six. And then the bottoms are kind of high-waisted. They're definitely in this pile somewhere, but all of these items were new with tags. So some I'll sell, some I will put in mystery boxes. All were a great deal. This is a cashmere sweater. I just see a little note. That's just a fuzzy. This is like a, um, it says dream in art collection, exclusive natural cashmere made in Nepal dry clean only. It's very hard to say no to cashmere at the bins because it's not heavy. <laughs> yeah, I love this style because I love, I love me a good cover up. So yeah, it just comes in front the V. I don't know what I would charge for this. It's gorgeous. And most importantly, it is hole free from what I could see. This is a good way to look 
because I have the light shining on me so I can see if there's any holes, but I don't see any. So that's good. Maybe $35 for that. More outdoor brands. I lied. I got these Carhartt shorts. Kind of look a little washed out, but they were, they are khaki. So they, I think are, I think they're J size. No, they're 34. They're a little big for my boys, but they're a relaxed fit Carhartt. 20, 25 bucks for these. The outdoor brand game was strong. Okay, we need to get a shot of Lulu Marie in this because my goodness, I am looking forward to our next rainstorm. How adorable with the polka dots. It's like just a good old fashioned little raincoat. Has this little opening here for the, uh, for the her leash to go through. It's like brand new. It's in really good condition. She does not have a raincoat. Lucky hated the rain. He would never go out in the rain, so that would have been great for him. Lulu Marie will just look cute in it, but she, the rain doesn't really bother her as much. I picked up these. These are Assets, which is the Spanx uh, lower end brand that is sold at Target. Um, but I thought these were really cute. They're a size large and they are a little animal print and they're in really excellent condition. I think Target sells these for $30, so I would probably list these for maybe like $23, $24, and they'll probably sell around $18 to $20. They're, all, they're almost like tights or like a knit, but they're definitely leggings. I love anything that is Spanx, but this is definitely the lower end, so not gonna be a huge return on those. This was a real unexpected find. Uh, it's a maternity coat. The brand is called Kim and Kai, I think the concept of this jacket is that it grows with you. So when you're not pregnant, you can take out this center panel that zips right into the front of the jacket and wear it like a nice navy blue down jacket with this faux fur. It's such a great coat. I was wrong. That extra panel is for baby. Look at this cute stock photo. I love it. So I looked up comps and there are so many of these coats that are selling between 70 and $100. I was really excited to find this. I also don't tend to find a lot of maternity that I love and I don't source in the maternity section. So um, when I stumble upon good maternity pieces, I get so excited. So this is a size medium, Kimi and Kai. Did I say Kim the first time? Kimi and Kai. You can just unzip this. I'll show a little demonstration. So you can take off this front panel. Have you ever sold this brand? I love the little polka dots on the inside. I do pick up things all year long, but price definitely plays a big factor in that. So, you know, if I saw this at Savers and it was $20, I don't know that I would get it right now and then store it for the winter. But I thought this will also be great for people who like find out they're pregnant in the summer and then they know they're gonna need this. I love finding good maternity. Um, I found this adorable, adorable little apron. I love these little vintage aprons. I don't know if you can see, but it has this little lace detail here and little pockets. I mean, I'll probably list this for $20, $25. I think it's so damn cute. So adorable. I love it. There's no, there's no um, markings on it. There's a chance that this is handmade. It's really pretty. Uh, love finding stuff like that. I grabbed this for myself. This, I think, is going to be a new bins bag for me. You can wear it as a crossbody. Oh, I think you can also wear it as a belt bag. Or like, I've been loving, I'm on the hunt. This actually would be perfect. I've been looking at the Aria belt bag, and it's honestly a very similar shape to this, but I want a belt bag that I can wear up here. It has this little white mark right here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna grab a baby wipe. I could not do my business without baby wipes. They're literally in every room in my house. They're in my car. Fingers crossed that this comes off. Oh yeah, this is coming off like a dream. Oh, that's so simple. I love this bag. Um, I think this is such a great bins bag. I've rotated through many bins bags, but I was at the bins recently, th this trip, and I had like this really cute little camera bag, just a red, very basic, but it's Gucci. And I bought it when we were in Florence. We went to the outlets in Tuscany when Anthony was studying abroad, 
And it wasn't like super high end Gucci, but I'm like, what am I doing wearing this to the bins? At one point it had like whacked up against a bin for like the 10th time. And I was like, why did you do this? <laughs> but typically I wear my, I have like a uniform at the bins and I always wear my black North Face vest. I've had it forever. It has like all these places where I can zip in all my ID. So typically I don't even wear a bag in. And on this particular day, I left the house without my vest. So I didn't have a place to put my credit card which is why I didn't think to bring a different bag in the first place. And so when I was there and I saw this, I'm like, oh, this would be so much better. I'm very excited about this, but this is actually a decent brand and it is leather and there is a pen inside. The brand is Ely, I-L-I. It has like a little spot in here for credit cards. Uh, this is going to be perfect for the bins. And then an adjustable waist. So this, somebody must have worn this as a belt bag. I would adjust this to be a little bit longer and then wear it crossbody, like up around my chest. And that way it's out of the way for the bins. This is great. And I think if I were to sell this, it might be like a $30 flip. Next up, I thought this was a really cool bag. This retails for like $56. The brand is Pistol. So this is the tag and it's this really great Southwestern bag like brand new, like brand new um, with bears and horses and rabbits. It's a great design and it has this black leather flap that like just kind of slides in here. It almost reminds me of like oil cloth that you could like clean really easily and the inside is just black polka dot. So I'm hoping to get about $40 for this bag. It's really, really cute maybe 35. So this bag is knit by Nanette Laplore, and I thought this would be such a great bag for Easter. Um, I gotta get this listed soon. There was a little bit of dirt right here, but once again, I'm hoping, oh, this one's not coming off quite as easily as the black leather, but it's coming off. Yeah, this just needs like a little exterior rub down and it will be great. Uh, what I loved about this is it doesn't show anywhere on the corners. And that's always like the first thing I look at when I look before I purchase a bag, a handbag. Oh, oh, this was inside. I probably shouldn't have bought this, but this needs a deep, deep soak. This is a vintage Christian Dior tie but it is polyester and it is stained. Like there's, there's no amount of baby wipes that's gonna help this tie. But uh, it was Christian Dior, so I thought I would take it home. Because it wasn't silk, I thought that I could try to treat it on my own. Um, but it's kind of a cool tie. I thought it was really nice. And you know, if I send this to the real real, I'll literally get like $4 for it. They'll sell it for like 18 and then I'll get like peanuts. So I would rather just list it for 20 bucks and see what happens. The stains aren't really screaming at me now, but when I was at the bins, I was like, oh, that's very stained. So I tucked it inside this bag. Yeah, the interior is actually not bad. A nice spring bag by Nanette Laporte. And it does come with this little twirly, which I think is super cute. And this seems pretty clean. So yeah. I don't know if this is leather or not. I don't think so. I think it's man-made. I'm always so surprised when I go through my piles, like, wow, that's kind of cute. Wow, I like that. I wore this the other day and it was so tight in my arms. Um, you could probably see like my arms like ripping through the fabric practically. Uh, but I thought this was really cute for a video. It's definitely tight on me. It is a size large or 12. It's a size 12. Oh, it, and it's inside out. But it's this really cute, like lightweight, has like an empire waist that you can cinch to pull in, which is really cute. Oh, is my battery dying? Please don't die battery. Yeah, it has just this pretty design on the navy blue, super lightweight. It's almost like semi sheer. It is, but I thought it was a really pretty dress for spring. I love navy blue in the spring and summer. Can you pull it? No, I guess it's not cinched, but it is elastic empire waist. So I think this is really cute. The brand, I don't think was anything special. Westport 1962. This might be like a catalog brand. I'm not sure. This is, I think, a University of Maryland uh, mascot sweatshirt. I just thought this was super cute. I think of Angelina at Penn State and she's always looking for like a game day. I need a game day fit, she'll say. I don't always pick up college sweatshirts and things that are outside of New England. I'm usually like a BC, BU, UMass, Patriots, Red Sox. Like I usually go for, or even like UMaine or places like that, local New England. But I just thought this was really cute and actually pretty light too. I think somebody will love that. This will probably sell sometime over the summer for football season if I had to guess. I went back and forth on this, but I just thought it was such a good basic. This is just a J. Crew Factory maxi skirt. And it's, you know, it's pretty timeless and simple. And it's a size small. 
and it's in that stretchy jersey material it's gray just totally you know so simple throw it on with like a black tank top and a denim jacket and some flip-flops for a nice day out in the summer just super cute so i grabbed that i just don't think it will show well it won't photograph well because it's not that exciting I don't, I don't know why i grabbed this i i mean i thought it was so cute pusheen this little sweatshirt there were some of these sweatshirts that didn't have terrible comps. And sometimes I feel like just having a YouTube channel, there's going to be somebody watching who probably loves this little guy. It's a mermaid. If you look closely, he has like a little mermaid tail. I don't know. Some of the comps were surprising and then some were like really low. I thought this was a cute top. This is a size large and they're little cactus. How cute. And it's very soft button down. Usually I won't pick up button downs that are like crispy, crispy co cotton because they just require so much to get the wrinkles out. And it's just not a big selling category button downs for me. But I thought this novelty print was really cute with the cactus plants. So, and it's a size large. This dress was another item that I was on the fence about. And then I found some really beautiful stock photos. So you're really not supposed to use stock photos. Sometimes I use them as my second picture. Certain brands will come after you. And I've had I've had things taken down from the North Face. I'm pretty sure that Chico's is pretty strict about using their stock photos as well. I don't think this is a brand. The brand is Musil. This was another great fit and flare jersey on the top and then this nice wide band and a nice cotton skirt on the bottom. This is really beautiful. Kind of gives me new girl vibes. My girl Zoe would wear this on new girl. This is so her style, I think. So I thought that was really cute for probably $25, $30. This is another dress I picked up from LL Bean that I think is super cute. I love dresses in the summer. Uh, this is the Bean Signature in a size four. I think this is really cute. Again, it's that fit and flare style. All the dresses that I found had that. It wasn't my battery, it was actually my memory card. I'm not sure if this was a good pickup. Some people had this style listed over $100. Some of these Guitar Hero guitars are collectible. They were limited edition. This is the Fender Rock and Roll Wireless Stratocaster. Am I saying that right? And it's for Xbox One, which I think is you know better than Xbox 360 because it's a more current style. I don't know, it's from Rock band so I am not sure what I'll get for this bad boy but I'm looking into comps on it and they're kind of all over the place from what I can see right now but okay new memory card the other one was like that's enough this is too long of a haul I'm really excited about this this was heavy but I think it's going to be worth it this is an Abercrombie and Fitch hoodie that has the faux fur liner and these actually go for a pretty decent amount of money and I'm pretty excited about this plus it's in a classic gray color and it's a large and the fur inside it looks like very little wear I'm expecting at least 45 to 60 dollars for this sweatshirt Abercrombie's having a moment I would say um, I wrote I most recently sold some Abercrombie 90s ultra high-rise jeans for $60. I think with the popularity of Y2K, Abercrombie was kind of in its heyday, I think, in the early 2000s. So maybe that's why, that's what's contributing to the popularity of this style sweatshirt. But I was really excited to pick this up. This probably weighs about four pounds. So it probably cost me somewhere between six and eight dollars, I would imagine. Maybe it's not quite four pounds, but it's heavy. So I paid a little bit more for this. Let me know if you've sold one of these before. I picked up this little cami for D pop it's just by escapades and it's probably just the top of a pajama set but i love this mustard color and i love that it was trimmed in the black and again super lightweight a really easy thing to photograph and list probably list it for just 20 dollars. but i think it's a really fun piece and i think this too would fit into the y2k vibe where a lot of people were wearing these camisoles and their low-rise jeans isn't that so pretty i love it this piece is from J. Jill, and J. Jill is a pretty consistent seller for me. I liked this uh, because, again, it is a 2X, and also because I just love open cardigan sweaters. I just love the style of this. I love the length of it. I love the front pockets. It's this nice mulberry color, and I think it's beautiful. I'll probably list this around $38 as well. I think somebody will love this cardigan. I don't think there are any buttons or anything. No, which I actually love. It's just easy to throw on. I think we're shifting into shoes now. 
Um, I've, I've already showed handbags and stuff, so I, I think I think we're moving on to shoes. There might be some clothes in there buried. I picked up these New Balance sneakers, and I threw them in the wash, and they came out so good. I was happy. There's a little bit of dirt around here, but I thought in general there wasn't a lot of wear on the traction, and oftentimes with sneakers, I'll see like some tearing around this area, so I wanted to make sure that... Um, these were in good shape. So I got these sneakers. These are a size eight. Now my battery's dying. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is a sign that this is too long of a haul. I'm going to go through this bag and hopefully we will get to it. So these are Merrell's. I probably shouldn't have bought these because they were missing the crossover thing, but these were so expensive sold new that I decided to take a chance because they were pretty lightweight. Even if I got $25 for these, I would be happy. I think they generally sell for more than that. They retail for over $120. So I figured I would try those. I got these cute little sketcher boots in like new condition. They look like brand new for a, for a little nugget. It would look so cute in these little sketchers. I got these Converse All-Star, which I also just got out of the wash. There is a little bit of wear on these, but I thought they were so cute. The Converse Dinosaur, uh, they're called Dinoverse. There's a little bit of dirt here, but they're fresh out of the wash and they're really cute. I think some little boy or girl who loves dinosaurs will really enjoy those. I got these Adidas sneakers which I think are really cute. I haven't I haven't cleaned these yet, but they're not in bad shape. I love that these are like the rose gold on the side. I think these are so adorable. Um what size are these? They are a size eight and a half. So we'll see how those do. That is my size. They might look kind of cute with my little jacket here. Oh, I got fry boots. I had totally forgotten that I found these fry boots and they're really, really cute. I've never seen this style before. These are a size eight and a half. They have the faux fur on the inside. I think these are so adorable. And they're, the faux fur, fur is actually, is it exposed in the front or is that leather? Let me see. No, I guess you do see the leather. A new bin had come out and I was a little late to get to the bin. I definitely think there were people around who passed these by and then I just grabbed them. I didn't know that they were fry initially. So I was really excited when I got back to my cart and I saw this. There is a little bit of uh, separation here in the heel. You can see right there. I could try to glue it or just disclose it. Sometimes, you know, glue can go astray and then it can ruin something but the soles of these are like in excellent condition so i forgot about these i'm pretty excited aren't they so cute love them i got two pairs of birkenstocks forgot about these too <laughs> all right these are a smaller size they were in the same bin together i have got these chocolate brown ones right here i want to say that the size was like 36 maybe this is what oh 36 there we go and I think these are the same size. Look a little bit bigger. These look bigger. Okay, these are definitely a 36 because they are marked. And I like this lighter color for the season. They're just like classic Arizona Birkenstocks, which are great. Probably list those around, I don't know, what are Birkenstocks going for these days? Maybe $45? I do want to clean out the inside of those. Um, and these, I'm not so sure because the insoles of these have a little bit more wear to them and I can't find a size on these. It's worn out. I'm going to guess these are a 37 or a 38, but because I don't have the actual size, it might make an impact on the sale. So maybe like 30 on these. And then I got these dance goes. I just thought these were okay. I mean, these would probably be $25. Dance goes, I have a whole cabinet of just like comfort shoes. I thought they were kind of cute. At least they were sandals, although those toe marks are a little skeevy, but we can get those out. And the bottoms were in excellent condition. Once I clean the toes on these, I think I could probably get around $30 for these if I'm lucky. I grabbed this little, little baby purse that I think is so cute. I'm into little micro purses. I think they're adorable. I think this could be a cute, tiny little crossbody. Might only be able to fit like a small chapstick and a credit card in here. Um, and it says Mexico. These are just like some of those little, little touristy things that you can get. I think this is super cute though. I mean, I don't know, $15, $18. I did pick up this belt. It needs a little baby wiping. We'll see if that cleans it up. It's Esprit which, and I think this is probably vintage and it's pink. 
Like, I just thought it was unique. You don't see many leather belts that are pink. I, at least I don't. And Esprit is kind of like a 80s, 90s. I remember when we lived out in San Francisco, uh, my husband worked for Deloitte & Touche at the time, and Esprit was one of his accounts, and they had a great, like, campus, and he had access to, like, their cafeteria, and they were just in a beautiful area. And I remember visiting their headquarters a couple times, and it was a very cool account to be on. This is a little bit dirty, but I still think um, this would be, like, a maybe a $20, $25 flip, only because it's unique. I don't think it will sell very quickly, but I think if somebody needs a pink vintage belt by a spree they can get one with me <laughs> so I think this is really cute yeah the, a lot of the marks did come off with the baby wipe but it's gonna require a little bit more this was really a long haul I went through two batteries and two memory cards so I hope you enjoyed it be sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me I'm gonna try to get to the bins at least twice a month or alternate the bins with uh, Cambridge I have to chill out when I'm there I took home a lot this time but I was just in the zone and I'm really happy with all the things I brought home thanks again to Poshmark for partnering with me on today's video be sure to click the link in my description and download the Poshmark app today. Thanks everybody so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!